Hello, I'm Karen Tripp. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm the Executive Director and Founder of Cancer Companions, and we're here today for our day of prayer for the month of May. In May, cancers that are being celebrated are brain cancer as well as skin and melanoma. So we're going to spend a little time praying specifically for those folks. Let me fill you in a little bit about these two if you don't know much about them. Melanoma is a most serious type of skin cancer that you can have. And unfortunately, I find that a lot of people that are coping with melanoma are regarded by friends, families, co-workers as not having a very serious cancer because skin cancer in general is typically not as life-threatening. But melanoma is very, very serious type of cancer. And we want to make sure that we're providing lots of TLC and understanding for those folks. Now brain, brain is something that probably has the immediate opposite reflection. People are immediately concerned and brain is such a mystery to all of us. Part of what happens with brain cancer is that you could have a hundred people really in a room that have all ended up having brain cancer and have way varying stories because the different areas of the brain that are impacted by the cancer ends up creating different kinds of issues and side effects as well as treatment plans. And so the variety of the impact of cancer on brain makes it difficult to get a sense of community around that cancer um, as much as other cancers. So let's specifically reach out for those folks today. Bow your heads with me. Lord, we thank you. We thank you so much for bringing us together here specifically to pray for these cancers this month. We pray for people that are struggling with melanoma and skin cancer. We also pray for people that are struggling with brain cancer. Specific ones that we have been requested to pray for is Jessica. You know that Jessica is just a college student, Lord, who's been diagnosed with melanoma. Uh, she's frightened as well as her family is. And so we ask for you to gather around them, be able to shelter them and provide them with your tender loving care as well as with a robust care from her medical team, Lord. We also ask for you to do the same with Robert. Robert has brain cancer that has uh, impacted her, his short-term memory and has made things, not just in terms of work, but in terms of uh, lifestyle, much, much more difficult. We ask for you to be able to give him a speedy, speedy recovery from these things, as well as to be able to make the treatment such that they remove the symptoms as well as do not create any additional side effects. And Jesus, we praise you too. We praise you for Phyllis. Phyllis has completed her last chemo for her brain cancer. And so we celebrate that. We celebrate each opportunity that we have to be able to see the work that you're doing in people's lives. Above all, we ask you to step into the lives of each person struggling with skin, melanoma, as well as brain cancer and rip the cancer cells from their body, Lord. Take cancer from their lives once and forevermore. You are the great physician, and we place each of these people in your loving arms. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. See you next month. Next month is June, and we're going to be praying for cancer survivors. If you have some prayer requests, I mean cancer caregivers, if you have some prayer requests, please send them. Thank you.